Well, if you are going to be driving on that highway yeah. speeding, you're definitely going to need some car insurance, and that is on the November ballot. It is here in San Diego. Proposition 33 changes the way drivers are billed for their insurance, but is it a good idea? That's the question. NBC7's Consumer Bob is here with more. This is something that will affect everybody. Driving. Yes, it has nothing to do with going 85 right. miles per hour, okay? This does impact everyone. You know, the name of the game here is continuous coverage. Should you get a discount on your insurance if you had coverage for a long time? Should you pay more if you haven't? Now, that seems to be one of the key questions of Proposition 33. If you drive San Diego roads and highways, you'd better have insurance. That's the law, and it won't change. But the law concerning car insurance could change a bit if voters agree to Proposition 33. If you've had continuous coverage with one insurance company, you get a discount, and it increases every year. And if you leave that company, you cannot take that insurance coverage with you. And that's not fair to the consumer. So Proposition 33 supporters, like insurance agent Bob Kipper, says the law will allow you to shop between insurance companies and still get discounts for long-term coverage. It's uh, legal in all other states, 48 states. Why not California? But a law that allows discounts for long-term coverage also provides penalties for people who have stopped driving for a while and then get back behind the wheel. This is a very deceptive initiative that will do damage and raise people's rates. Prop 33 critics like Jamie Court say higher premiums for returning or first-time drivers could actually discourage people from buying car insurance. When you have a 40% increase in your rate and you are a first-time driver or you're someone who wasn't driving previously because of the economy or because uh, you moved somewhere else, it's going to discourage you from coming into the auto insurance market. One of the controversial sides of this proposition is the person who's sponsoring and funding it, a multimillionaire who happens to own a major insurance company. When was the last time an insurance executive spent $16 million on a ballot initiative to save you money? Never. They don't do it. They do it to make themselves money. He was a, for the consumer. He's still for the consumer. He wants to have the capabilities and the opportunity to offer the discounts that are legal in 48 other states as well as California because it's not fair to the Californians not to have that discount. The law does make an exception for those defending our country by offering continuous coverage discounts for all active military. If they are serving our country, why not offer them that uh, extra discount? And that's what we're trying to do with Proposition 33. George Joseph is the founder and chairman of Mercury Insurance and the money behind Proposition 33. Insurance companies spent millions of dollars to pass a similar law in 2010, but that was defeated by voters. Well, everybody, most people have cars and have to get around and worry about insurance. Sure. So how many w will really be affected by Proposition 33? Well, one of the things, supporters of it say that about 85% of California drivers who follow the law and have insurance will be able to shop between insurance companies for those potential discounts, at least 15% who could not, and some of those could be penalized. Now, remember, in insurance, you can be penalized if you've had... Uh, if you've had traffic tickets, if you uh, drive more miles than someone else. So there's always been a way of, you know, differentiating about who pays more, who pays less. But this is something else that could potentially uh, cause those who have not been insured for a long period of time to be stuck with a bigger bill. All right, Bob, good point. Right. Thank you.